All right, we're in the nest facility. I've done pretty much everything that I have to do here. I'm just gonna go back. Um, Claire gave Annette the cure for the G infection. And she's running it back to Sherry. And now we stayed behind and fought Birkin. Put him down. Now we gotta get back. gonna be all right she'll be weak for a little while but yes she's free of the G virus did you hear that Jerry, can you walk faster? Yeah. I don't want to rush you, but we have to go. Why is there always a self-destruct sequence? And why is shit falling apart? What is happening to make the concrete fall from the roof? It's not like there were pre-bomb bombs going off. Let's get the hell out of here. You gonna activate this thing or what? Of course, in this, I mean, at 20 years later, there's gonna be a lot of changes to storytelling and design and all that kind of stuff in video games. Oh, look at that. So they put a little bit more effort into fleshing out the story. Yeah? Thank you for being so nice to me, for helping me. I'm really glad I met you. I'm really glad I met you too, Sherry. But save your thanks until I get you out of this place. 
so they put more effort into sort of fleshing out the story, the relationship between Claire and Sherry and Sherry and Annette and all that kind of stuff. Um, Annette and Claire is a little less confrontational than she was in the original game, although she definitely is with Leon. But something that's happening here that I don't think makes a whole lot of sense is, if you think about it, Claire and Sherry haven't really spent much of any time together. They barely know each other. I'm surprised a little in the fact that they know each other's names, really. Now, they did spend a little bit more time together in the original game, a little bit. But it's, it still feels weird. This place looks familiar, right? Hello. Knife. There was a thing here, wasn't there? Ah, fuck it. Moving on. Don't need this. Come on, Cherry. Don't hold me up. Ten minutes until detonation. Of course there is. Now there are Ivies down here, so you gotta uh, be prepared for that. Ah, fuck it, moving on. Sherry, run! We don't need to fight these, do we? <laughs> of course, the stupid thing's locked. Sherry, where do you... I think I can open it from the other side. Of course you do. Oh, God damn it, your tummy sucks. Nine. How do you know you can get over Minutes there? Until the yeah, like that shit. Haha. Alright, we're just gonna do this. Shit! Okay, like that. Okay, dead. Seriously? Huh. Nice work, Shane. We make it. Oh, shit. Space in the inventory. Get rid of some shit that I definitely don't need. Should have, uh, should have done, did this in a different order. Ah. Uh, Where's that, uh... Discarding ammunition. I'm actually discarding ammunition. What are you doing? I gotta get this train moving. I need you to stay right here, okay? Okay. I promise I won't move. Good. Be careful. Always. Remember, you're on a time frame here. Okay. Alright. Something. Okay. 
All right, it's working. Claire! What? Leon? You're down here too? Yeah, but the whole place is coming down. Look, you need to get out, fast. I know, I found a way out. I think, I think we can all make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon, I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Don't worry about me, just get out of here. Leon, Leon! Damn! That hair really looks ridiculous in this situation. We'll leave it all on the line right now, because, uh, nothing after this. Into that.
getting out of here. So what's the first thing you want to do when we get out of here? I want to see where you live. Good. Cause I take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> really? That bad? Oh yeah. Claire! Leon! It's so good to see you. I told you we'd make it, didn't I? You did. Okay, that underwhelming ending was the result of a kind of um, way that they set this game up, and they did it the same way they did the original game, where there is an A and a B scenario for both characters. Now, what I just played through was Claire A, meaning Leon B has to follow it, and once you catch Leon B, you catch the true um, ending to this version of the game. Now, if I did Leon A and Claire B, which is what I did the first time I played through, you see, I imagine, what is a slightly different version of it. So, I do plan on playing through Leon B, and it will be tacked on to the playthrough that I have here. So, I don't go through my usual ramble that I go through at the end credits. So, I'll just say that I think this is probably the best remake of any game that I've seen before. I mean, the original Resident Evil remake, that was a pretty substantial thing, and they did it right, I think. This one, they did right also. So many remakes nowadays, whether it be movies or games, tend to, or TV shows, whatever, tend to miss the point, and they miss the mark. Capcom seems like they're pretty good at it, and if they do a Resident Evil 3, or if they do a Code Veronica, I'm definitely on board to play those games. This, though, we got what we got here. What we got was pretty damn good. So, uh, I'm gonna sign off now. I'll let the credits roll, I guess. Wait, no, no, I'm not gonna let the credits roll. Screw it. Going through Spanish language. We did not listen to the Spanish language version of this. I'll go through the credits when I hit the true ending.